When two or more signals arrive at a microphone at slightly different fractions of a second, a phase cancellation is likely to occur. When two signals are completely out of phase, 180 degrees, a noticeable loss in low-end frequency response will also occur. This image is a phase scope screen without signal present. A lower left to upper right direction of signal means an in-phase relationship. A lower right to upper left signal line indicates signals 180 degrees out of phase. Not all situations are that clear cut though, as partially out of phase signals can also result causing a bass or treble change. To minimize your phasing with miking technique, there's a couple of things to consider. A 3 1 principle. The 3 1 principle maintains phase relationship if both mics are three feet apart and one foot off the sound source. Another approach would be the X Y principle. Because the XY principle maintains phase while two mics are positioned X to one another, creating a Y, utilizing cardioid patterns. It's usually advantageous to use the same mic type, if not a matched pair, whereas to get symmetrical images on left right. The MS principle, or mid sides, is a pseudo stereo mic procedure that requires a decoder to create the image on playback. With respect to the miking procedure we spoke of previously, the high to low microphone measurement should be of a 3-1 principle, that is three feet apart and one foot off the source. But placing a mid mic in between both will often create a phase cancellation or a phase issue that should be evaluated. Sometimes those issues are acceptable, other times they're not. There are times when you can simply reverse the phase electrically of the center mic, therefore throwing the phase back in to reinforce both the low and high frequency microphones. High and low mic measurements to XY at three feet supports the overall phase relationship and adds ambience as well. These three mic relationships we looked at are space pair and 3-1 principle, and in theory should always be in phase. The other four microphones are strategically placed for piano sweet spot capture and room ambience. The advantage of placing each mic on its own track allows you not only to create balance differences, but also gives you the option to eliminate the mics altogether if the contribution doesn't quite live up to your expectations. Pictured here is the Beckstein 7 foot grand. Notice I've used the 8 mic procedure to record the Dave Brubeck's solo piano project.